hey guys, welcome and ting and ting and ting. And somebody just told me, hey, hey, Mr. Giant, Mr. Giant, you're looking at Dublin, you're looking at the history of Ireland and stuff. How about you go to some of the little areas and thing and check them out? And they suggested this one. I think it's called Dungal Ireland. Dungal Ireland. You know, they said, why don't you check it out? You know what I mean? See what it's all about. You know, maybe you might want to go visit it. And judging from this picture, it's probably somewhere I would like to see. I see the ocean there, you know, you know me, I'm from an island. So let's go ahead and YouTube and Sim Simmer and see what Dongal have to offer. I'm going to be traveling around my home country, Ireland, and I can't wait to bring you along with me. In this week's episode, we are exploring the beautiful County Donegal. In this episode, we are exploring a tiny bit of Donegal. We're currently Donegal. at John's Point, and there's this gorgeous lighthouse behind me. It's a good drive down. Okay, I know how... Uh, how uh, precise you all like to be about the pronunciation. It's Donegal. Now, I hope I'm saying it right this time. Because <laughs> uh, I, I got in trouble for saying Edinburgh instead of Edinburgh. So, Donegal. All right, let's go. Um, but it's definitely worth it. It's beautiful. I'm here with Orla. Hi. You know, right off the rip, that's a lighthouse. Is there still a lot of lighthouses in Ireland? Because we had a lighthouse on the island, the one that I knew of, and I lived within walking distance of it. I used to go walk around there all the time. But they, they, they tore it down to put the airport there. And uh, I was kind of upset that they did tear that down because that was like a monument type thing as far as I could tell, you know what I mean? But uh, that was the only one on the island and it got torn down. Is there a lot of uh, lighthouses? Because that's something I would like to visit. You know, just for nostalgic taste. It might not be the same geographical area, but it's the same sentiment I shall have visiting a lighthouse. You know what I'm saying, and thing. Isn't it crazy how all the things that uh, things that kids are growing up now with is not going to be there when they get to be my age? Just like you know, everything is just changing so quick. You know, technology is just like pushing a bunch of stuff out that we were thought was so cool as kids you know what i mean you have these lighthouse stories you know the ghost in the lighthouse you know or the ship on the high seas coming in and the only thing they see was that lighthouse in the distance that guided them into safety the stories you could tell from that there you know what i mean and things those good old stories so we were just driving in jail just to get out to the next spot and yeah there's a bit of traffic on the road so <laughs> nice take pictures though the cow is like eating the eat in the car oh he's going straight for us okay i go. see you oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Number two of the day is Fintra Beach and it's so beautiful. Look, gorgeous little sand. I mean, Orla are heading in for a swim. Let's go. Looks yeah. cold. I think so. It's actually kind of sunny today, like it's not too bad. Just the weather's it's nice. We're happy. We're happy to go swimming. <laughs> Look how beautiful this beach is, though. It is. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Says it's not cold. I disagree. <laughs> it's freezing. It looks cold to me. <laughs> right, Laura, you're gonna dunk yourself. Okay. I'm just searching for a jellyfish. Yeah. Actually, softened as well. So I was about to get in properly and actually dunk myself under, and then there's a jellyfish and a great egg. I don't know if they sing these jellyfish. I like swimming in the sea, and I don't want it to become a fear. <laughs> Bit of a problem. Look at this cute little cove then. So I ended up speaking to the lifeguard about the jellyfish because I was so nervous. But apparently the purple ones don't sting and the ones with the brown like kind of tentacles do. Luckily I wasn't the only one that made it feel myself because I was, I was so embarrassed. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a jellyfish the whole time I live on the island. I've heard people talk about them but I've never seen one, never been stung by one or anything like that. Hmm. I always hear stories about jellyfishes in other places, but never on the island. Okay, so we finished 
finished our swim and we're now at Sleep Lake so we're just on our way up to the viewpoint. I'm so excited because this is like one of my bucket list places to visit in Ireland and I've never been so I'm very very excited right now. Okay let's It is. So we just made it to the viewpoint and oh my days, this is like a postcard. Like, I actually feel like I say this in every, every vlog, but my favourite place in Ireland. <laughs> Such big statements to make, but... It's beautiful though, sister. You, you, ain't, you ain't telling no stories. Look at those cliffs. We don't have cliffs like that on the island. You know, it's kind of overcast, but it just fits the the landscape. I don't think that makes sense a lot. But then again, when I think about it, you know, in the sort of rainforest we have on the island, overcast days just seem to fit it. Now, where I live on the island, it's just like the driest part of the island. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the best beaches are down there. So you kind of, that's kind of synonymous with sunshine and stuff like that. But on rainy days, it's still, so beautiful you all just don't understand but then whenever I went up to the northern tip of the island where it's a lot more lush and the rainforest is a lot thicker uh, it always gives me that overcast day that I love so much I loved going up there whenever you know you sit you just sit in there uh, in your little wooden house in the rainforest and listen to the rain bounce off the banana leaves man sit in that veranda there and you don't see the ocean because you're in the rainforest and you hear birds singing, pigs squealing, donkeys braying or whatever they do. And ever so often chickens or rooster crowing and you're sitting there and all of that is while the rain is falling. And, and a lot of the times the rain isn't like a downpour, it's just a, a steady little Enough to hear it bounce off the banana leaves. And a nice wind going through. Overcast days are beautiful, like this right here, you know, it looks overcast. It's maybe just the way it, uh, comment down below. It's just the way it looks there. But that's beautiful, you know. I, people see gray when they see things like this. I see silver. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So we just made it up onto the first kind of peak of the cliffs and like it just doesn't seem real like, like just so cool like I, i'm lost for words i'm lost for words if you're in donegal even if you can only visit one place sleep league seriously oh look at that can't even tell where the ocean and the uh, the ocean and the sky meet mountains just here in the background well that's Sligo and that's where we were yesterday and we were watching the sunset with the background so it's kind of cool to be looking from the other perspective Orla thinks that these are the same two sheep that have been following us around the whole time but she's wrong they're keeping an eye on you all <laughs> <laughs> Now and we're heading up the mountain, but there's loads of clouds, but they're gonna clear. 
That's really nice. My buddy Scott, uh, so we have made it to the top. he liked this a lot. We don't have much color in the sky. It's actually cloudier than we were expecting. No, uh, my, uh, my, my buddy Scott Hall, God, he's been a buddy for like 20 years, 23 years. He went to the university here where I graduated from. But we still came in contact. As a matter of fact, he was in a uh, town this weekend, and we hung out and you know talked for. I talked to him pretty much at least two or three times a week. Good, good dude, you know. But he lives in Virginia. And if you ever visit America, you have to go visit Virginia, because Virginia has got some of the coolest places that you could climb up on, the uh, coolest little mountains. And we went to a couple of them, and I, I can't think of the names right off the bat. But we went to two different kinds, and one we didn't go to the foot to the top top because uh, he was uh, wasn't under the weather that day. But my God, the views when you look down on the Shenandoah Valley, you know what I mean, and you could see the river just meandering uh, through the valley and thing, and it's it's gorgeous, man. And the places are well kept too, you know. It's a it's a a state or national forest area. And it's like about an hour, two hour drive from uh, from Washington, D.C. But uh, and it's just starting to become like a suburb of D.C. now. Uh, people drive into D.C., but they live out there. And th that place is just gorgeous, man. It's just absolutely great. And I had the, the privilege of going up into a four-seater plane and flying over that, man. Whew. His dad built this plane, you know, he built this plane. And he took us up and thing and then oh man, that was that was just a trip. But if you ever come here and it's not too far from like I said, DC or big cities or anything, but it's Virginia. It's a beautiful place. Oh, and check out the farmers market too. Oh boy, they got some good stuff in there. Let's get going here. Yeah. It took us like maybe an hour and a half to reach the top. It's not that bad. Um it is quite steep and rocky and also can you see the face? Look at that. I know. What are we going to call her? Comment down below. That looks like a scary little Back walk there. In 2019, I was in a pretty bad accident and I ended up breaking three different bones in my leg. And yeah, it was just a, it was a big life change for me. And hiking used to be something that I did before the accident without a single thought and now i'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things and this is probably the most challenging hike i've done so far, far but just because the rocks move quite a lot on here and my balance is awful so kevin's gone on further to like this place that's called the windows so there's like a rock formation that looks like a window and i've just found myself a nice little natural seat to sit at um, and enjoy the view because i know my limits and i'm not there yet maybe yeah. in a year but uh yeah, it's a nice viewing spot. I like it. I'm using the zoom lens right now. Wait, look. Boom. So we are making our way back down now. I'm really, really happy we're just not at that narrow part. It it's still quite dodgy here, but we've already done this. We'll be grand. You'll be grand if you do it too. We're going to get breakfast. <laughs> These are the little, the little rocks you got to walk Joe through. Oh. That's, that looks treacherous. The car park. Oh yeah. They got the idea they were on bikes. Woo. I mean, perfect. Just a... No so we were just driving on down the road and um, came across this lake that had an insane reflection. So we knew we had to drive a little bit further to see if Ergo was reflecting in it and look at that. Wow. Oh, it is. <laughs> so cool. Okay. I'm sold on Denegal. That was something else. 
Tranarossa Beach um, and we're hoping to kind of climb up over a cliff to try and get to Murder Hill because they've closed off the access to where you used to get from Murder Hill just because it was private grounds and people weren't respecting the land. Um, so yeah, we don't know if we're going to make it. We're going to give it our best shot. And yeah, I'll show you what the cliff looks like. It's not too bad. We look, it looks like there's an easier route. We're going to try to take it. But I feel like people who take the easier route always end up having to go up the hard way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the place we're going to go. That, oh man, that's like, just... Yeah. Around, instead of going all the way up. But I think usually people who take shorter routes doesn't work out. Those are pretty little flowers. So one thing I will say is it's quite marshy the further you get in. So you probably need the boots. Looks like an easier climb than the, the place right before. Up onto the higher ground. Oh, well, I changed and my... So like this peak over here, this is the other peak of Murder Beach. So we're definitely going the right route. I can see it. We made it. Oops, I'm walking this way. Oh, Sorry. What's alarm? We're nearly there. And there she is. Look at that. Wow. So we made I mean, look at how beautiful this world is, guys. We gotta start taking care of this, man. We gotta let our kids and our grandkids see this stuff. Of course, it's probably changed a lot, you know, over the years, you know, natural uh, mechanical weathering and stuff like that. But good lord, that if it's natural changes, that's okay. We can't do nothing about that. But when we speed up the change. Like I've talked to people here who have never seen a butterfly, man. <laughs> Come on. There was a place on the island, boy, where there was these long grass. And if you go there at a certain time of the day and you shake this grass, I don't know if that place is still there. Hundreds of butterflies were just You have to go at a certain time of the year. I think it's like beginning of summer or might be in the middle of the summer, you shake that grass and you know butterflies come out there black and yellow, yellow, green, uh, some with blue lining on the wings and stuff. Oh, those things are so beautiful. I don't think my son has experienced anything like that either. And I hope when I go back home, there's still going to be places like that. You know what I mean? Because that's so peaceful. Where she's standing there in uh, Donegal, look at that. That is so peaceful looking. And obviously there's not a whole lot of wind because her hair is not whipping around and stuff. So you could actually stand there. You could probably hear the, 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 the ocean from in a distance or something. I'm just daydreaming here and thing. But, you know, look how beautiful that is. You know, we got to start preserving that stuff, man. For real, for real. And I'm not saying they're not. But you know what I'm going with it. It's this insane viewpoint probably better off just going directly over because we now have to go over to this peak here. We made it! Yeah, it was it was a lot harder than I was expecting. We ended up going uphill to come back down again. Um, but yeah, it's really cool here. It's definitely worth it. We're just heading into the cave now. Wow. No, I'm going to a cave that day. I was expecting. It's really cool. It's like the typical photo you see taken here. Um, and yeah, because the main entrance is closed off, we have the whole place to ourselves because realistically it's an hour and a half. Like, Murder whole beach? Um, but it's so cool. It looks so cool. Okay. Somebody comment down in the bottom, why did they call it Murder Hole Beach? There's got to be a reason for it. At least that's what I thought it said. Comment down below. Hook up brethren up. Okay, I totally enjoyed this video here. Yeah, she did say Murder Hole Beach. <laughs> Something she said uh, to introduce the guy, she said this fella. People don't say fella up here. Apparently that's like a thing with us, 
with this with, with the same sort of connection with the Irish and the British and the Caribbean and stuff like that. We see fella you know, a lot. You know, what's up fellas, you know what I mean? Thing. But anyway, man, I'm gonna leave links for this video in the description. I'll also leave like a uh, little cards here so you can go watch other videos that I've reacted to on Ireland. You understand what I'm saying? Thing? I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a nice thing. See, I like the laid back thing with the peaceful vibe and thing going on. You know, like this lady here was really laid back. Go check out her channel. You know what I mean? She was really laid back. You know what I mean? Make me peacefully soak in, Denegal. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, you all take care of each other, all right? If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Cool runnings.